Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Joey Corbin and welcome back to another episode of Check Out My Pops. Now, as you can see, my voice is a little bit different this time and that's because I'm actually getting more sick. I, I was sick before and now I'm getting worse. I got a sore throat still. Everything's just really bad. But I decided I want to do a review anyways for you guys because I picked up some really awesome pops at GameStop. I picked up Family Guy. So we got two different Stewies here. We got the Ray Gun Stewie and the normal Stewie. Let's start off with the normal Stewie. Before we take them out of the box, let's first take a look at the box. So here's the front of the box, here's the side, and here's the different ones that you can get from this series on the back. I don't know about you guys, but to me, Peter Griffin does not look that good as a Funko Pop. But that's just me. I, you guys might think different. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about the Peter Griffin Funko Pop. All right, now let's open Stewie up and check him out in more detail. Here's Stewie out the box, you guys. Really good job on this figure. I think Stewie looks good as a Funko Pop. I mean, they did a pretty good job on making it look like Stewie. The other figure for Peter does not look that great. I don't know. It just doesn't look too much like him. Uh, I guess because the Funko, you know, shape of his head or whatever. But um, they did a good job overall on this. The paint job looks really good. You'll see no overlapping paint anywhere on this figure. So that's really good. No overlapping in the eyes or the hair. Um, because sometimes they'll overlap on the eyes and the hair. And that's not the case for this figure. Uh, they did a really good job on the details by making it look just like Stewie. You know, with his overalls, his little teddy bear that they included. And, you know, the color of his shoes and just the color of his outfit in general is all you know the same everything's the same of course I mean they have to do that but um yeah they did a really good job on sticking with that uh, so yeah I think Stewie looks pretty awesome this figure does have articulation his head will turn left right and all the way around um, so yeah that is the original version of Stewie as a Funko Pop pretty awesome all right you guys now it's time to take a look at the ray gun Stewie um, before we take them out of the box, let's take a look at this box as well. So here's the front of the box, here's the side, and once again, here's the different figures that you can get on the back uh, for this series. All right, now let's take Ray Gun Stewie out of the box. So here's the Ray Gun Stewie, you guys. Pretty much the same figure, just they added a helmet, and instead of a teddy bear, he has a gun which you'll see right there. But the details and the paint job are really good. Like the last one, there is no overlapping paint anywhere on this figure, so they did a really good job on painting this. Uh, the details are really good as well. Like I said, they stuck with it and made it look exactly like the Stewie from the show, and they did a really good job on you know with the helmet because that is one of the things he will wear in the show. I've seen him wear this. Um, so they did a pretty good job with that. I like how the visor is see-through. Instead of just a color, it's actually see-through. So that's pretty cool. That's They didn't have to do that, but they did, and that's pretty awesome. Once again, this figure does have a little bit of articulation. Its head will turn left, right, and all the way around just like the last figure. But anyways, that is the Ray Gun Stewie. All right, well, that's it for this review. Let me know what you guys think about the review. Let me know if you like Family Guy, if you have any of these pops, or if you're thinking about getting any of these pops. Also, I'm going to have a channel update coming soon for you guys to let you guys know about a new idea I think you guys might like. It's an idea I'm excited about, and I hope you guys like it as well. But anyways, that's it for this review, so be sure to subscribe, click like if you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video, and before you leave, I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, this channel is mainly for Funko Pops, but it will also have other toys as well. So if you're a toy lover, toy collector, or just a kid who plays with toys, then be sure to subscribe to this channel.